In this video, I just want to give an overview of uh, using Sublime Text Snippets for Genesis Framework. Um, the first thing that uh, you want to do to uh, install these in Sublime Text is to come to the Project GitHub page and then click on Download Zip button at the right. And then once you download and extract that zip file, uh, you're going to see one Genesis master folder. Uh, rename that to Genesis and then in Sublime Text, you go to Preferences and Browse Packages. Uh, so Sublime Text, Preferences, Browse Packages. So that's going to open up the Packages folder on your computer. Uh, you go inside User Folder and then uh, this would not be there by default. So you just uh, paste that uh, Genesis folder that you have downloaded from the extracted file uh, in here. And all the snippets are inside a folder called Snippets. All right, so you can close that. So let me give you uh, one use case of uh, how we can uh, uh, how we can use these snippets in Sublime Text. So right now I'm looking at Archive Portfolio PHP. This is the uh, Portfolio Custom Post Type Template file uh, that comes with Executive Pro Child theme. So if I remove um, all the PHP code inside this template. And just leave the opening PHP tag and the closing Genesis function call in place and reload the portfolio page on the front end. You can see that uh, it's all a mess. So now the content is not full width anymore. And then we have two images appearing. One is probably the post image from coming from the settings. The other is the one that is embedded in the post itself. So let's try to recreate the code that was there before and you know ha paste these using the snippets that you just added into your sublime text all right so the first thing we'll do is uh, we'll make the content full width uh, so no sidebar so i'm going to press command shift p to bring up the command palette if you're if you are using a pc uh, you would be pressing control shift p all right so command shift p and then start typing what you want to uh, paste or type so in this case that would be full width right so full all right so you can see that snippet uh, that's coming up force full width content layout setting in genesis so i'm going to hit enter or uh, the return key and that snippet gets pasted so i'm going to save it come back here reload and you can see that uh, the content is now full width all right so the other thing is that i do not want this particular breadcrumbs to appear on this portfolio archive page so i am going to bring up the command palette command shift p and start typing breadcrumbs so you can see there are one two three four five six snippets here and the first thing is what i want remove breadcrumbs in genesis so i'm just going to hit enter all right, save it, come here, reload, and the breadcrumbs are gone. All right, so the next thing is, okay, if you take a look at the CSS for this theme and do a search for portfolio, you can see that uh, uh, the way that the portfolio entries One minute. Yeah, here. Yeah. So uh, the code, the CSS code for the portfolio archive page is all listed here. And you can see that the width is set to 33%, that is one third for each of the portfolio entry. And it is all based on this class, Executive Pro Portfolio Body class. Now, if I inspect uh, the body element on this currently, there is no such uh, CSS class. So I need to add that uh, body class. So come back to the template and then press command shift P or the control shift P and then start typing body class, add custom body class in WordPress, right? So I just hit enter and you can see that uh, uh, the word prefix, both the occurrences are highlighted. 
so I can change this to custom or SK or whatever is your name or the project name okay and then when I hit tab you can see the class name is currently highlighted so that would be executive pro portfolio that is the body class that I would like to be added so save it come back here and reload alright so now the content is appearing in columns and if you take a look at the Genesis theme settings you can see that the featured image is ticked so I do not want the featured image uh, coming from the Genesis theme settings so I would like to get rid of that so I'm gonna press command shift P and do a search for post image because I would like to remove the post image coming from Genesis so hit enter and that's the code so I save that come here reload okay that's gone and I also do not want the content or the excerpt to appear so I would like to get rid of the content so I'm gonna type command chef P and then content and uh, there are so many things options in here so I'm gonna filter by typing Genesis okay that's better so remove post content in Genesis or remove entry content in Genesis so I need to clean this up but uh, both are the same so I'm gonna hit uh, the entry content in Genesis so that should remove the content and that content included the image uh, each individual post also had the image inserted so that's the reason why uh, the image is also disappeared along with the content along with the text all right so now what we need is we need to display the featured image uh, below these titles so I press command shift P, uh, P and then start typing featured image okay so let's take a look at the first option that is the show or display featured image linking to Pama link in Genesis all right so what this is going to do is it's going to check uh, to see if a post has the featured image uh, and if it does then it's going to display it in the portfolio si uh, size uh, this portfolio size would be defined in functions PHP typically so if you take a look at um, Yeah. so you can see that the portfolio is the image handle uh, where the width is 300 and the height is 200 all right so this instruction this line says uh, display the featured image in a div having a class of portfolio image and um, it, that image should be linking to the PAMA link of that particular entry so this in itself will not do anything we got to basically display it in a particular location so let's say I would like to display that in the entry header so I need to, I need to use an action so I can press command shift P and start typing action and you can see this one called act add action callback in the right side you can see it also has this uh, ACT uh, tab that is the a trigger tab so if I type ACT for action and then hit tab that's gonna fill that so the tag is nothing but the hook so that would be Genesis entry header and the function to add would be um, anything that you would like to meaningfully add display featured image All right, so this code it goes here. If I save it, come back and reload, it looks fine. It works fine. This is what we want. So this is just an example of how you can uh, use Sublime Text and quickly paste Genesis snippets in it to do your uh, customizations and uh, 
theme stuff. Hope you find this helpful. Bye.